my name is Arjun and welcome back to my channel. Have fun this Halloween by making these delicious, easy to make treats. So before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel. Happy Halloween! Halloween is just around the corner. Other than dressing up in scary costumes and trick or treating, Making these treats is my favorite part. So today I'll be making spooky pancakes. So let's get into it. Start by curdling the milk. I'll take milk and I'll add in a little vinegar to it. I'll give it a stir. And I'll let it sit on the counter for 10 minutes. Now that the milk has curdled, I'll make the batter. I'll start by adding the milk into a bowl. And I'll also add in butter. I'll add in a few drops of vanilla. Now I'll sift in flour, baking powder, caster sugar and a pinch of cinnamon. And I'll let it rest on the counter for 5 minutes. I'm pouring the batter into a squeezy bottle. Now let's make some spooky pancakes. Now I'll place my chocolate spiders on top. Thank 
pancakes are not only scary but also super tasty. Do give it a try for Halloween. You can check the written recipe on creativearjun.com. Links in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you. Everybody, I am Arjun and if you are wondering what to make for Halloween, think no more. I am going to show you some easy things and cool things to make for Halloween. So let's get into it. First, let's prepare the dough for the spooky donuts. So here I have warm milk and I will add sugar into it. and stir it. Next I'll add yeast to this milk. And lightly stir it. And leave it for 10 minutes. Now that the yeast has activated and the milk is frothy, so I'll get the dough ready. Now I'll add the flour. And the salt in the food processor. And mix them. Now my nice smooth dough is ready. Now I'll put it in a bowl. Now before putting it in, I'll just grease it. And I'll grease the dough also. Now I'll cover it with cling film. Set it aside for 2 hours to rise. When the dough is rising, I'll prepare my other things. So first, I'll make my buttercream frosting for my muffins. So first, I'll take a bowl and put my butter into it. And I'll beat it.
Now that it has changed color, I'll start adding sugar. Now this cream seems almost done, so I'll add a one teaspoon vanilla. Beat. I'm dividing my buttercream into half. And now I'll put a few drops of food coloring into this. This is orange food coloring. Butter creams are ready. So I'll put them in the fridge. The dough has doubled in size. So now I'll make my donuts. So now I'll divide them. Now I'll roll these into ovens. Now in these ovens, I'll cut two eyes and one mouth. and remove the excess. Doesn't this look like a ghost figure? Now I have taken some more dough and roll it and I roll it into a big rectangle and then I'll cut some more shapes out of it. Now the oven is preheating until then I am putting butter on them to make them nice and brown. I put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 190 degrees. While the donut 
donuts are baking, I'll squeeze out some fresh orange juice. This looks so amazing. Hear that? It is done. Don't they look so nice? And to give the finishing touch to the spooky donuts. Now I'll use the orange butter cream to decorate my whole wheat muffins I made this morning. I have already done a video on this. So you can view that. I'll put that in the description below. for more videos like this every week. Thank you! Hello everyone, my name is Arjun and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making a spooky orange juice. So let's get into it. I'll start by slicing all the oranges in halves. Now I'll get on to juicing them. Now I'll strain it. Now I'll draw spiders on the glasses. Time to pour.
Now I gather it with my hands to achieve a dough like consistency. Now I make small balls using this chocolate cake dough. Now my cake balls are ready to go in the fridge until they're set. While the cake balls are in the fridge, I'll melt some chocolate. Now it's time to insert the sticks into the chocolate ball. To make it sturdy, I'll dip the tip of the sticks into the melted chocolate. Then into the chocolate balls. Now for the scary twist, I'll be using forks for the rest of them. Now I'll keep them in the fridge again until completely sturdy. Now I'll take a little white chocolate and I'll add in green food colouring. In the rest of the chocolate, I'll add orange color. so scary and so tasty. Do give it a try. Please like, share and subscribe.